Hello, 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 nice to see you again. I am Fabrizio Carminati, your personal property hunter on the French Riviera. And in today's video, we will explore Villefranche-sur-Mer together. I will talk about how it is to live in Villefranche, what house prices you can expect, and a little bit of the history of this stunning little village. So today we are in Villefranche and its incredible bay which offers a safe shelter from winds and welcomes many cruise ships. It's one of the deepest bays in the Mediterranean with 95 meters depth at its entrance and reaching more than 500 meters out of sea. And today I wanted to show you something very rare on the French Riviera, a cloudy day. And before we start this video, I must say I've been struggling about doing this video or not and I thought it was quite disturbing showing lovely and peaceful places while others are being reduced to ashes a few miles from here. But finally, I decided to do it as a testimony of how peace is important and should be defended by all means. I would like also to share with you the wonderful initiative of Joshua Kennedy and Robin Simon who are organizing a sheltering network for Ukrainian refugees. Contacts are in the comment below this video. So without further ado, let's start exploring Villefranche together. Villefranche is one of the most beautiful locations with Beaulieu-sur-Mer, Saint-Jean-Cap-Ferrat, Aise, located between Nice and Monaco. It is at 25 minutes driving from Nice International Airport and around 20 minutes from Monaco. From here, Le Belvedere de Villefranche, located on the Moyenne Corniche, we can see how the village of Villefranche is situated on quite a steep hillside and is built on three levels. The old town here at the sea level, then there is the octroi on the Basse Corniche, on Basse Corniche level, and the Col of Villefranche, the higher point located on the Moyenne Corniche level. On the west end of the city rises the impressive citadel of Villefranche overlooking the marina called La Dars, which is just behind. A marina with a long history behind, where boats have been built and repaired for over 600 years. On the east side, you will find some narrow but beautiful beaches with the Mediterranean Sea offering 50 shades of blue. The Octra is the most commercial level of the town, with the main service and grocery stores, a couple of cafes and the post office. Villefranche has also a lovely fresh market on Wednesdays and Saturdays at this level. You can reach Villefranche by car, by bus along the Moyenne Corniche or by train that drops you right by the beaches. Or, if you are looking for a thrill, you can come jet skiing! The old town is my favorite part of Villefranche, so come on, let's have a walk in its lovely narrow streets! Due to its natural protections, the Bay of Villefranche has been used as an anchorage since ancient times by Greek and Roman sailors who named it Olivula Portus. However, the site was repeatedly attacked by Saracen pirates. No, not this one, come on. The inhabitants then abandoned the seaside for more secure heights. The name of Villefranche comes from Villa Franca, as in 1295 the Count of Provence decided to grant a tax exception 
to encourage the inhabitants to return and populate the city. In 1388, Villefranche, as part of the county of Nice, succeeded to the Duke of Savoy, and the town became the only sea access to the House of Savoy until the construction of the port of Nice in the 18th century. In 1543, war broke out on Villefranche shores as 110 Barbarossa galleys landed in Villefranche, raiding, burning and devastating everything in their path. In 1965, the city council bought the citadel. A full restoration was undertaken in 1979 and in 1981, the city hall and a cultural center were installed in the premises. And let me tell you a secret only a few people know. There is a hidden gem inside the fortress, which is probably the most unusual theater hall of France or maybe the world, built in the rocks of the hill. Whenever you can, try to get your tickets for a show there where the whole scenography competes with what's happening on stage. The Russian presence in Villefranche-sur-Mer is pretty strong and is underlined by the presence of the Russian consulate in the old town. And Narad has something to do with it. It dates back to the end of the 18th century when the Imperial Russian Navy anchored there during each conflict with Turkey. The Duke of Savoy even agreed to cede to Russia the Villefranche Harbour and Dock, which were used as a depot for food and fuel. Larad became the home port for the Imperial nobility on holiday in Villefranche, which lasted for a while even after the annexation of the county of Nice by France in 1860. So, what can you do in Villefranche-sur-Mer? There are many things to do, relaxing and enjoying the beaches, having a drink or a dinner at one of its nice restaurants, of course, a lot of sea-related activities, but also hiking or cycling if you have strong enough legs as the climbs are pretty steep. So what are the real estate prices in Villefranche-sur-Mer? Well, what is nice, exclusive and rare and protected from Paris assaults has a price. In general, the average price for a house is 11,500 euros, ranking from 8,600 to 17,300, or sometimes more. And for an apartment, the average price is 7,700 euros, ranking from 5,800 euros to 11,500 euros. This is roughly speaking, as prices can change from one street to another, or one view to another. As you can see, if we zoom in, there are a lot of micro areas with different prices. Not so much concerning lower prices, but rather top prices, which can sometimes reach 20,000 euros per square meter. And now it's time for my new section called Best of Agents. So here we are looking for a house for one of our clients, maximum budget 1.3 millions, and we detect a house that seems to match all the requested criteria at 1.1 million. After a chat with the seller's agent, this is a real question we had. But if your client has 1.3 million budget, why do you want to show him a 1.1 million house? Say what? Yes, my friends, searching properties can be fun, but above all, through this example, I want to point out that we, as property hunter, we will not try to make you spend more money than necessary if we can find a perfect house at a lower budget. It's also true for negotiation that we always manage having your best interests in mind. And by the way, this is also the reason why we only charge very reasonable research fees. I hope you have enjoyed this new video about Villefranche. If you have, please click on the thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to welcoming you to my next video. In the meantime, stay safe and enjoy life. Bye now!